Hi guys, it's Amazing Paul Girl, back with the town of Lonky Island, and this is part 7. So, this time, make sure my mic is attached, switched on, ready to go. I don't think it was very de detrimental to the last episode. I literally just picked up what I did and narrated it. I think the main part was just making sure the, the lines were voiced because uh, that's why people watch Let's Plays, I think. <laughs> so when, when a game is fully voiced, then obviously the actors do their job. But when it's not, you know, it's obviously preferable to have the lines read for you. Sorry if you can hear my, my washing machine, it's being a bit noisy. I don't think it's got too long to go and then it's going to beep, so I'll have to go and turn it off when it beeps. But this is uh, the only time I get, really, because my son is at Scouts. So, let's get into it and stop rambling. Let's go this way. Uh, I did have to look at something to work out my next move because I didn't realise... Actually, is it here or do I have to... Cliff. I didn't realise there was a cliff here. I didn't see the hot spot, so slap on the wrist because, yes, it's kind of cheating, but I wasn't going to get any further without finding this cliff. So, hmm. Sorry. I am fallible. Right, let's have a look. Go to sign, okay. Dragon cave, ooh. Enter at own risk. Do we dare? Well, I think we have to, don't we? Because there's not much else to do around here. Oh, I, if only I had put my cursor in the right place last time, because I did go to the right. Never mind. Oh, oh, look at this. This is like the Hobbit. Help! There is a real dragon. What else have you expected in a dragon cave? I didn't know that dragons even exist. Well, we are a very rare species. But as you can see, we exist. Are you dangerous? Dangerously hungry, eventually. Oh my goodness. Well, I have meat. You could blow, uh, blow on it. You could breathe fire on it and you can cook it. Will you eat me now? No, although I'm extremely hungry. I've been in this cave for about 100 years now. And I haven't eaten anything since then. Dear, you will be hungry. The human meat is just too stringy. Oh, thank goodness. Well, perhaps I eat you anyway. Finally, I wouldn't be hungry anymore. Please don't. But you could also upset, cause me an upset stomach. Why don't you bring me something tasty? For example, a sheep. I don't have one of them. I do have a meat. Let me go and I will bring you something to eat. And I have also a red herring. Do you want that? That would be terribly nice. Alright. Uh, are you able to spit fire? Should I? Better not. But as a firefighter, I have to care about fire prevention. Don't worry, I don't do this anymore. You might need to. That only would ruin my nice straw. I also prefer my dinner in raw state. Oh, well, that's handy. All right. Um, where is your enormous gold treasure? What do you mean, gold treasure? Well, usually dragons lie in a huge amount of gold. 
Are you effing crazy? That would be totally uncomfortable. No, no, I prefer my soft and cosy straw. Okay, I don't need to ask him in a riddle. We're going to get the riddle, aren't we? Hopefully. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe he'll give me five pieces of eight. I'll be off then. But remember to bring me the sheep. I, I don't have a sheep. Oh, I have to eat. Oh, for heaven's sake, no. Right, give him the meat. What do you have there? A tasty rump steak. Of oh, sheep? Okay, I will try it. Oh, okay. It's not sheep, but yeah, it's meat. I am I mean meat. Sheep is meat. That was tasty, but I'm still hungry. Bring me more. Um, yeah, sorry. Sheep is meat in that form, but I don't know what meat my meat is. Should we give him the fish? Ugh, the fish isn't tasty. Bring me something different. I have a cookbook. You can cook your own food. That is not tasty. Bring me something different. Ugh. Okay, I thought we had done okay. I've got a hamster. I'm not going to. I'm only going to test a theory. I don't want to feed my little friend to the dragon. No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. We're not going to do something that mean, are we, Guybrush? Um, Grishush. <laughs> Get his name wrong. I know I had trouble saying it. Well, right. Where are we going to go and get more meat? I'm really sorry if you can hear this. It's noisy. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Let's go back to the bar. I don't think it will do as much good though. Come on. Do 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 That's all we're going to get though. Mm, he's still got instant grog cans. And there's a cat. Meow. It's you again. What do you prefer to eat? Meow. Perhaps a tasty fish? Meow. I'll look for something. Should we give him the fish now? Can you help? <laughs> oh, go on. Can you help me with a riddle, perhaps? Meow. With which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed and two-footed and three-footed? I'm sure the cat knows. Meow. Oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, you know now, do you? <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Meow. Right, should we give him the fish? It seems that the fish was tasty. Jeez, I'm going to have to stop. That's too loud. Right. That got very noisy. <laughs> uh, but I thought I would skip coming all the way back up here. So, And I did also skip the barman chef getting annoyed because we've seen that previously. But I had to get in the kitchen. So here we go. Let's see if this helps. Have we got enough meat for you now, sir? That was tasty, but I'm still hungry. Oh, am I supposed to cook grog powder on it or something? Okay, I'm going to skip more and I'll be back outside the cave when I've 
got some more meat. Oh. A steak with grub coating? Sounds great, but I better don't do it. Oh. No, not what I wanted you to say. Let's try giving him meat again. Maybe it... I don't know. This was tasty, but I'm still hungry. Bring me more. Let's try talking to him again. Why don't you catch a sheep for yourself? Well, because there are no sheep on me the island. I also don't have the guts to go out this cave. Oh, you're a hikikomori, are you? Outside, there are so many skin pirates. See, Grishus, you should have picked the right path. You are afraid of pirates. Don't give me that phrase. They are much more scared about you if you were about them. I already heard that enough. No, that's spiders. And what do you do if I am a pirate too? You know, everyone is able to see that. How insulting. Are dragons familiar with the solutions of riddles? Maybe I don't need them, I don't know. What do you mean? Just as usual, I would say, are humans familiar with rid riddles? <laughs> it's okay. Can you eventually help me with a riddle? Which riddle is it? Which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed and two-footed and three-footed? What an odd riddle. So this is no dragon. That is what I can tell you. No, it's man. I thought so. I'll be off then. But remember to bring me the sheep. Or I'll have to eat you. Ah, get me far, did it? Right, about to go in the stuff keeper's shop. Look. Another confession, I've had to have another look and I actually do not understand how we get to where I'm about to get to. So we're going to do what it says and see what happens. Eh, you annoying pill. I warn you, don't get on my nerves again. Alrighty. Hello, what do you want, noob? Pill, noob. I want to buy something. What do you like to buy then? Uh, do you have some oil for faster filing? Oil for faster filing? Well, I have to look at the storeroom. Thought you might. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Okie dokie. We run now. Let's see. Yeah, well, um, and then the number the stuff keeper gave us was five. Enter. Inside is the credit. Oh, four two. Th okay, I'm stupid. And a black rubber duck. I'm sorry, poor noob. I couldn't find it in the storeroom. Ah, of course, I get it now. So the reason he comes to the, num the idea of five is because the riddle is four legs, two legs, three legs, and then he's got the five because it's the combination to his safe. Oh, how was I supposed to work that out? I suppose. 
Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I won't do it again, I hope. Hello. What do you want, noob? To sell you your own item. Do you also acquire something? Of course. I always need wealthy antiquities. What do you want to get rid of? I have this sweet rubber duck. Great! I collect these nice ducks. Yeah, you've... I'll give you three pieces of eight for it. Oh, good, that's more than I need for the peppermint. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, that sounds fair. Let's not push our luck. Oh, we are naughty, aren't we? But then he was very rude to us, as I kept saying. Hello. What do you want, noob? Let's see. Uh, I want to buy peppermint. I want to buy something. What do you like to buy, then? I could use some peppermint. I got it here. Here, take the whole package. That will be two pieces of eight. Okie doke. Here you are. Thought I was going to have to choose that. Okay. I have to go again. Have a good time, noob. Those are not peppermints. Those are grog mints. Let's just go back to Klaus and probably end it there. Let's see. Give Klaus the peppermint. I have a peppermint for you. Thanks. I really needed this. So I'd like to hear your report. You won't believe it. It is really terrible. The governor has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? That is terrible. We should call the police. No, the police wouldn't do anything. She was kidnapped by the most horrible creature in the whole Caribbean. By whom? Oh, it was Godzilla. He was stomping around old Tokyo like a big playground. Godzilla? No! By the zombie pirate El Choco. Of course. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Only the bravest would... Oh, sorry. But I am brave. Brave enough to beat El Choco? Of course. I have to rescue the governor. But you cannot accomplish this alone. I will help you. And I already have a plan. What plan do you have? Listen. First, I have to get out of here. The sheriff always keeps the key of the cells in his private flat. Oh, we know where that is. You have to sneak in there and steal the key. Okay, I'll do it. But be patient of the dogs. The dogs are there? What kind of dogs? The sheriff has bitely piranha dogs in his flat. Of course, a new breeding. They got immunised against the yellow flower. Oh no. Whoa. Okay. Oh. What's your additional plan look like? Listen, when you have freed me, we'll sail together to Lonky Island. A cruise ship will sail there tomorrow. Ah, oh, I have a cruise brochure. We'll take this. I already have a ticket. Oh, I need to get one. So you only have to get one for yourself. All right. Do you still have questions on my plan? Many. Uh, I might come back and ask him next time, but for now, I think we're going to stop. 
I'll go and see what I can do. Do this. I'll wait here. Okie dokie. There we go. We finally, well, no, we didn't finally. We haven't got the answer to the riddle, but we did get the combination to the stuff keeper's safe. And I tell you, it serves him right. Stop calling me a pill and a noob, especially a noob. I am not a noob. I'm quite expert at adventure games, point and click. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and sticking with the series i hope you are <laughs> uh, i'm getting roughly the same number of views on each part so that's really nice to see that people do seem to be sticking with it i don't know if it's because um the, i don't think there's many let's plays of this game at all but uh, it was mentioned on twitter and i thought hey it sounds fun and i thought i'd record it so there you go be back for the next part because as usual i don't know what happens next but if you watch it you will you know you're from the future you're a time traveler anyway thanks for watching and i will be back with the next part of lunky island bye